In this video, I'm going to talk about backslash characters or something called escape sequence. After watching this video, you will be able to understand what are backslash characters and how to use them in your C program. Now, first of all, what is backslash character? Any character that start after the slash is called backslash character. Now, there are some predefined backslash characters are available and every one of them has their own meaning. Backslash and basically means new line. So if you want to print a new line, then you have to use this backslash and. Now you cannot print a new line directly by typing or printing something. You cannot do that. You have to use this backslash character and. And then you can use backslash T if you want to print a tab. Then you can use backslash double quotation if you ever want to print any double quotation in your output. If you want to print the single quotation, you have to put a backslash before that. So this will allow you to print single quotation in your terminal. Then if you want to print this backslash even in your terminal, then you have to use backslash before this backslash. That's how it's going to work. So that's quite a lot of theory. Now let's check this one out. So we have already tried to print something in our terminal and there is no backslash character I'm using at this moment. Now let me run this program and let's see what happened. Here I can see my name Anisul Islam is printed and then I can see immediately I have this email address. Now I want it such a way so that Anisul Islam will be printed first in the first line and then in the second line I'm going to print this email address. Now can we do this? For sure we can do this. So in this case, what do we have to do? We have to use backslash characters. So what I'm trying to do after printing this Anisul Islam, I want to print a new line. In this case, we are going to take the help of a backslash character called slash an. Now remember one thing, whenever you are going to use backslash characters, they have to be inside double quotation. Remember this, they have to be inside the quotation. So here, in the end, I'm going to use this backslash an. Now let's see what happened this time. So if I run this program, you can see something different this time. So it's printing, this printf is basically printing Anisul Islam, and then it's printing a new line. So it's making sure to print a new line, and then it start from here. Then we have printf Anisul 2010 and at yahoo.co.uk, which is the email address. So it's printing the email address here. Now you can use this backslash and anywhere inside this double quotation, it's up to you. For an example, if I use the backslash and here, and then if I use the backslash and here, what's the problem? We can use that, we can do this. So let's see what the output is going to look like this time. So I'm going to run it again to show you what happened. So what do you think what's going to happen? Just try to understand first, this printf is responsible for printing anything. So it will print from here, Anisul first, so I'm just trying to uh, like explain you how the output is going to look like even before running this terminal. Then there is a new line. So it will come from here, in the next line, but you have a space after the new line. So basically it's going to take a space here. If you give two or three, four, five space, it will always take one space, remember that. And then you have this Islam, so it's going to print the Islam, and then you have the new line. So basically, again, it will start from here. And then immediately you have this anisul at yahoo.com, something like this, that's the email address. So it's going to print that email address. And then you have this new line, by the way, let me just fix it. I wanted to just bring it here. And then you have the new line here again. So basically there will be something here, just starting from here, not something going to start from here, by the way, because you added a new line there. So let's see what happened if I run this program. Well, there is an error because I'm just using this in the uh, code, which is something is not valid. So in this code, I'm going to run again and you can see the exact same thing that I tried to explain you there. So first print Anisul, then you see Islam, and then we have the email address and then other stuff is running from the next line. So that's how basically this a backslash thing is going to work here to print the new line. Okay, so we understand about one backslash character, which is probably you will be using a lot, the backslash n. Let me remove this backslash n from here, and now I want to show you the backslash t, how basically the backslash t is going to work. It's going to print a tab here. If I run it, then you'll be able to see it. So you can see immediately it's not starting from here, 
because you have added one tab backslash t so it's taking some space here that's great so far so good now imagine a scenario where i want to print this anisul islam inside double quotation so i want to print double quotation now if you just put double quotation like this at the beginning of anisul and then in the end of islam it's not going to work because i told you if you want to print this double quotation or single quotation you have to use slash before that the same thing goes here and now we can give it a try and let's see what happened so in this case you can see it's printing double quotation same goes for single quotation as well now let's say you want to print a slash in between this anisul and is islam so what we can do we can just use slash but that's not going to help remember you have to use slash before slash if you want to print slash all right let me run it again and now you can see that slash here with the double quotation as well now that's enough i hope you have understood the escape sequence or backslash characters as i said most of the time you'll be using this backslash n if you want to create a new line